they're receiving death threats for teaching the, the, the you know an accurate history of our of our nation. Educators are standing in solidarity with teachers of color in Oregon. Some say that they are receiving threats for teaching racism in schools. A group gathered at the Friendship Circle in Portland to show their support. Oregon teachers at today's rally say that bullying and intimidation tactics will not stop them from teaching the truth about U.S. history. Well, you spoke several times before about ideological subversion. That is a phrase that uh, I'm afraid some Americans don't fully understand. When uh, the Soviets use the phrase ideological subversion, what do they mean by it? Ideological subversion is, is the slow process which we call either ideological subversion or active measures, active мероприятия in the language of, of the KGB, or psychological warfare. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interests of defending themselves, their families, their community, and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process which goes very slow and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism, American patriotism. This week, Florida joined more than half a dozen other states in banning critical race theory. It teaches students that racism is systemic, embedded into many American systems and institutions. Local teachers say education is about the truth. Demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. Uh, for the last 25 years, actually it's overfulfilled because uh, demoralization now reaches such areas where previously not even Comrade Andropov and, and all his experts would, would even dream of such a tremendous success. Most of it is done by Americans to Americans thanks to lack of moral standards. As I mentioned before, uh, exposure to true information does not matter anymore. A person who was demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell nothing to him. Uh, even if I shower him with information, with, with authentic proof, with documents, with pictures, even if I take him by force to the Soviet Union and show him concentration camp, he will refuse to believe it until he, he is going to receive a kick in, the, in his fat bottom. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand, but not before that. That's the tragic of the situation of demoralization. When you start to tell teachers that they can't teach the truth and tell them what they can and can't teach, um, you've got an education system that is, is indoctrination. Right? You've got an, an education system that is controlled by people who believe in a certain narrative. Some opposed to critical race theory call it a state-sanctioned class on racism. Others say it would indoctrinate children according to extremely liberal beliefs.